So now we're going to create a uh, DNS, a domain name server in this Windows 8 and then um, connect it into this client, Windows 7. So first thing we need to do is we're going to um, check the IP, con uh, IP address of this server. So in order to do that, click nyo lang itong start. And then select this command prompt. Type ipconfig here. Ayan, so um, we're not going to use this one because the, in, o in order to make the things all work out, uh, we must use the, uh, we must change the network settings, I mean, so uh, first is we just need to close this one and then minimize this two and then go to your virtual box machine. So first I'm, in, I'm going to change the network settings of this uh, Windows 7, click the the machine and then go to the settings and then um, select network so here uh, choose this bridge adapter uh, make sure na naka realtek family controller ito Tas, and then uh, go to this advance um, expand it and then go to this um, mode uh, select allow it allow all, iset nyo sa allow all then click ok the same process di rin dito sa windows 8 so click nyo lang yung windows 8 settings punta kayo sa network bridge adapter family controller expand yung advance and then um, iset nyo to sa allow allow all then click ok and then we are ready to go so open ko ulit yung dalawa yung server tsaka yung client so just to select work on network here and then yeah so make sure pala na, na uh, you're connected to the internet so I'm, co I'm connected to the network here so here uh, connected and then as you can see here um, then uh, the client has already detected the network after we uh, set the set the network settings on, on that bridge adapter so just cross this one <coughs> the same with this uh, network 2 network 2 so uh, we're ready to go so first thing we need to do we're going to the server and then click start and then click command prompt so type ip config again here Ayan. So, yun. Mapapansin nyo, um, napalitan na yung um, <coughs> uh, set na IP, ng IP natin. So, we need to set this IP address into static. So, how to do that? Just uh, click this one, this icon. Click it. After you click, just right click on that. At uh, piliin nyo itong Open Network and Sharing Center. <coughs> And then, punta kayo dito sa local area connection. And then, click properties. Uh, uncheck this uh, version 6. Kasi hindi natin gagamitin yan. Itong version 4, select nyo. And then, click properties. And then, here, choose use the following IP address. So, the IP address of this one is this one. 192.168.100.54 192.168.100.54 one six eight oops one hundred fifty four so let me just uh, double check it so it's correct and the default gateway is one nine two one six eight one hundred that one so yun yun yung default gateway nya nakalagay rin naman dito so iset rin natin yun para static one nine two one six eight and then one so in this uh, sa preferred DNS pwedeng look back yung 12700.1 pero in my case I will use this default gateway as my preferred DNS to my server so I'm just going to copy my default gateway here 192 168 101 so 
I-click nyo lang tong validate settings upon exit. Yan. Pagtapos na. And then, click OK. And then, close. So, there. It's already revoking our network. So, just click apply this fix here. Just click that one. And then, it's already fixed. Just close that one. Close. And then, okay. Now, now we're going to create a domain name. So, click start. And then, type DC promo. Promo. Yeah. That one, DC promo. And then, hit enter. And we're going to wait. So, ayan. Nag-pop up na yung wizard. So, ang gawin lang natin dito, click natin itong next. Just click next here. Next. And then, uh, select this, create a new domain in a new forest. Because this is a brand new installed server. Select nyo yan. And then, click next. So, dito natin ilalagay yung pangalan ng domain name. So, just uh, name it to your desired name. So, I'm just going to name it just like that. So, um, pwede dito yung .local.com uh, depende sa preferred nyo, pero um, ang preferred ko .local para more specific. Pwede rin yun naman yung .com kung ano yun required. So, after that, to make sure uh, that the domain name is um, added with this, this one, that local or that com, and then click next. And then, we're going to leave this one into default. Don't change this one. Click nyo lang yung next, next, and then here, make sure that the DNS server is checked. And then, click next. So, Kung nag-pop up tong message na to, just uh, select this one. Yes, the computer will use blah, blah, blah. Select it. And then, click yes. So, again, leave this one into default. Next. And then, put a password. Again, a combination password. Okay. And then, after that, click next. Next. And then, there. It's the domain name is already creating so make sure you again you <coughs> check this one reboot on completion just click that one to be to check and then we're just going to wait so after that uh, as you can see here the domain name is already added in the, into our login form. So, <coughs> just input the password here. And then, enter. And there. Uh, check natin kung mayroon uh, na-create talaga yun. So, just click this icon. So, there. Domain name, this one. So, ngayon naman, um, Click this icon to your Windows 7 client and then right click on it. Go to open this uh, network and sharing center. Select local area connection. Go to the properties. Uncheck this version 6 and then select the version 4. Click properties. And then we just uh, leave this IP into dynamic we're not going to set that into static just uh, use this preferred dns so the dns that we put here is the ip address of the server so to double check it i'm going to my server click start command prompt and then type ip config so this one 192.168.100.54 oops 192.168.154 So, after that, just click this validate upon exit. Check that one. And then click OK. Close. And then, uh, just close this one. Close. 
close so now we're going to um, uh, ping our domain name from the server so we're going to ping this uh, domain the, the one that we created here so just click start go to the computer select computer right click select properties select this change settings go to the change and uh, select this domain so here we going to put this um, domain name from the server make sure the spelling is correct dot local so yeah so I'm just going to click OK here and there it's already connected so we're going to put the ad the admin in the admin username in the password so just type here administrator and then the password of the server Again, of the domain I should say ok and there it's already connected click ok ok close and then it will require to restart now just click restart now Yun. So kapag uh, nagpakita to, just click this one and then type on screen keyboard, click apply, hintayin nyo lang mag-pop up yung on screen keyboard. Yan, then click control, alt, delete. And then uncheck that one, apply then close and then here um, input your password 1234 for me and then there so uh, double check computer so there it's already connected to the um, domain name of the server